Vera. It's so good to see you. How was the funeral? Give it to me. How can they pass? You know, I should have been there for her in the last moments of her life. If you haven't been around, it's because you've been earning her treatment all these years. A daughter like you is something you can only dream about. Only it still didn't help. Hey, don't blame yourself. I guess you're right. What's left for me to do plunge headfirst into work, take all the shifts I can get and save up for my dreams. When you make some money, will you take me with you? Of course. By the way, we have so much news. The oligarch dragged that bitch Miss Collective Farm 2019 here. Now she runs everything, it's a nightmare. Yelling, not happy all the time. And most importantly, she is afraid that this oligarch will take her away from her. Who's going to beat him off? Any pretty girl. She already fired Jolka the cook just because she was pretty. And the mass who came to rub his back, she also threw her out. Really? It doesn't touch me yet. I'm not his type, but you are. Head about me. I'm the maid. You're beautiful, I'm afraid. And what does this Miss Collective Farm behave according to her title? <laughs> Am I interrupting? Get out of here. Get out of here. So smart now. You forget where you are? Good afternoon. You know what I've been thinking and I've decided that you don't work here anymore. One maid is enough. You're fired. Bitch. That's great. You have an impressive resume. Did you work in rehab? Yes. You did not indicate your marital status. Do you have a husband or children? Now I have no one. There was my mother. She was sick for a very long time. I earned money for her treatment, but recently she passed away. The boss I work for needs a housekeeper who doesn't ask unnecessary questions. It's not my upbringing to ask unnecessary questions. Well, here we are. I would have left if I had known what was going on in this house. I wouldn't be here. You wouldn't wish such a job on an enemy. What is she about? Never mind. It was your predecessor. She was fired for incompetence. Good evening, Sergei Alexandrovich. Good evening, Pavel. This is our new maid. Vera, Vera, Pavel Tarantiv is our gardener and manager in one person. He is your immediate superior. Your task is to keep the house in order. In no case, do not go up to the second floor to the master's room. Why? I remember not to ask any questions. That's fine. I will appear often in the mansion, so do your work in good conscience. Pavel will tell you everything. Good day. So I can't clean the master's room? I'll show you your room. Thank you. 
This is your bedroom. Spacious. On your weekends you will be able to leave the mansion. Your weekends will be planned precisely according to the schedule. Are you the manager? Pavel Ivanovich. Pavel Ivanovich, tell me, when will I be introduced to the boss? I should know who I work for. Tomorrow I'll show you around the house and explain your duties. Something tells me you've never been anywhere. Yes. I've never been, but I'm definitely going on a trip around the world. I'm afraid you can only go there as a servant. Anyway, someday I'll fly around the world. Pavel. Pavel, where is she? The previous house worker was not doing a good job. Anyone can dust. But what was she talking about when she ran out of the mansion yesterday? The mansion is quite large. There is a lot of work to be done. I hope you are an executive. First, you have to take off the porters, wash them, wash the windows, and then wash the laundry and knock out the pillows. What? No, nothing. I just think you can handle it. Yeah. Me? I can do it. And what do you do besides talk arrogantly? I make sure that everyone and everything in this house works well, and besides, I look after the garden. So there are two of us, not counting the owner? There's also a cook and a groom. Are there horses here? Yes. The owner keeps eight horses of noble blood. All my life I wanted to learn how to ride a horse. Servants are not allowed to ride horses. By the way, tonight I heard some strange noises. The servants eat here. Did you hear something last night, too? Breakfast at 8 o'clock a.m., lunch at 2 o'clock p.m. And where were they coming from? Dinner at 7. You'll find everything you need in the pantry. And where is it? Near the hallway.
Dear, the bed is here. Oh. Mama Mia. Today is, as you say, fish day, Pasha. Fish day is on Thursday, and today is Wednesday. Well, you can wait until Thursday then. <laughs> oh, what a pleasant smell. And what a taste. Grandissimo. Excellent. Fish like a fish. Mamma mia, where did you come from? Next time I'll bring you hay for dinner, like your horses. Very funny. Good afternoon. This is our new maid. Vera. Oh, Bajorno Senorito. This is our cook, Giovanni. We just call him Senor. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Vera. This is our groom, Platon. My God, the fish. It's divine, Giovanni. My God, it's delicious. Tell me, did you also hear those strange noises? Which ones? From the second floor. It's not customary to talk over a meal. What did I say? Enjoy your meal. Is that the owner? My God. Have they ever been knocked out? Could have helped by the way. I'm a driver, not a loader. I'm not a loader either. I'm a cook. I am, in fact, a chef of the highest caliber, the best chef in the restaurant. Cool. What does cool mean? What do you mean cool? Very cool restaurants by the way. Yeah, he's not a longshoreman. I'm not a longshoreman. Well, someone has to be a longshoreman here. Mamma mia, Vera. I'm sorry. My heart, it almost leapt out of my chest. I didn't mean to scare you so much, Giovanni. I'm sorry. You did it on purpose. Tell me better, who is it? Who? Outside by the van. Oh, that one. Yeah. It's a lazy, ungrateful person. I have to do everything myself, even though I'm already. <laughs> Mamma mia, I don't remember how old I am. Giovanni, tell me who he is? Does he work here? No, no, praise the Virgin Mary. He comes here once a week to bring groceries. He's pretty. Who? 
Him? Tall and muscular, isn't that a man? Isn't he? Vera. The main thing in a man is his temperament. Than a real man he is never tall, average height. You can even a little less, with black, like tar hair. And with not a big tummy. Of course, and most importantly a real man he cooks beautifully. Mama Mia frozen. Vera, please close the door. Wow, is that a refrigerator? Computerized refrigerator camera. Oh, it's cold in here. It always maintains the perfect temperature for freezing, minus 18 degrees. Vera, mamma mia. Mamma mia. <laughs> oh, the handle is broken. There's no way to open it from the inside. If we were stuck in there with you for two hours and la comedia è finita. Wow. Who is that for? So your master is eating after all? Oh yes, our host is very good at food, very good. Mm -hmm. MM Hum, come on. We can't be here, come on. Why? Why did you leave food on this cart? What's that knocking about? Is that a password? What kind of mystery is this? We are employees. We do as we are told. Who says? I think it's time for us to have dinner, too. Yes. Pavel, Pavel, Jesus Christ, take that away, you didn't hurt yourself, it's okay, go away, go away I said. What's up? The usual. Is he in a bad mood again? It's the same as always. Pavel Ivanovich, we have to do something about it. And what will you do about it? Stables are built for a reason, which means the owner loves horses. I've been working here for a week now, and I've never seen him ride one, and I've never seen him at all. Does he ever show up, ride horses, or do anything at all? The owner hasn't done anything for a long time after what happened to him. What happened to him? Who the hell is that?
Where the hell have you been? I was in the yard. Why? Laris of Vladimirovna. This is our new mate. Hello. You'd better get to work. Who is this? The mistress. So the master has a wife? Does the owner have a name? Pavel, please come to me. I have a list of errands for you. Coming. Dad always wanted me to be a butcher. We have the best beef in the world in Italy. Mom said no, Giovanni should be a fashion designer. We have the best fashion in the world in Italy. How did you become a chef? It's thanks to my aunt. She had her own restaurant, and I helped her there since I was a kid. We had the best pasta in Naples. Are you from Naples? Si. Mamma mia, Naples is the birthplace of pizza. I love pizza. My aunt's restaurant had the most. The tastiest pizza in the world. How do you know? Giovanni. You just have to teach me how to make real Neapolitan pizza. The secret ingredient. Senya. Yes? Are you looking at your watch? Why? The master has been waiting for dinner for a long time. Now? Of course. I can't. I'm making my signature calzone filling. I can't leave it for a second, Pasha. Senya, quick, quick. Pasha, devil, what to do? Giovanni, why don't I take his lunch? Do you? Yes. And you just watch your calzones. Calzoni. Okay, calzoni. What's the difference? I'll make you a calzoni one day and you'll see what a difference it makes. Giovanni, please. I can do it. I promise you. Okay, just watch. You put your lunch right on the cart. Knock on the door. And then you leave. All right. It's such a big and beautiful room. H.C. Grand Palace. They built a mansion. It's strange that there are servants eating in such a room. Yes. The owner and his family used to eat here. And we ate at Zenia's in the kitchen. But the owner hasn't come down here for a long time. The owner, there's a mystery about your owner, and I don't know anything about him. But I found out something. You did? Of course. And so we see that the master is rich. Such a house, servants, obscenely rich. And he has a wife, beautiful of course, but she's a megalomaniac. What's more? The master is very fond of horses, at least he used to. And now he seems to drink a lot. And why doesn't he come down from the second floor? There's a reason for that, Senya. Thank you, the dinner was great. I think we should clear the table now.
how do you? Get out of there quickly. Didn't they tell you not to come in here? Here the door was open and the box was playing. What if my help was needed? And I thought you were going through things. No. Do you know what happened to the girl who worked before you? She was fired for stealing. The owner doesn't tolerate stealing. I am not a thief. Tell me, is that man and child in the picture the owner? That's none of your business. This time I won't say anything to anyone, but if you do it again, I'll report you and you'll be fired, is that clear? Go and do your job. Hurry up, tough cook. What a lazy bones. That's the laziest guy I've ever seen. Hello. Hello. I haven't seen you here before. I wasn't here before. You're very pretty. You're not. <laughs> And you're good? And what's your name? I will if you answer me one question. Tell me about the owner of this house. I'll tell you if you go out with me. When is your day off? Saturday. But I don't want to go out with strangers. Okay. Wait. Okay, maybe I'll go out with you, but first answer my question. Well, that's a very scary story. No one saw the owner of this house. Why? He's very afraid of daylight. He's a vampire. Fool. Hey, so, what about a date? There's more. What if he really is a vampire? No one's seen him. He's hiding from everyone. What's the matter? What happened? There's a monster. There's a monster. What monster? There's no monster here. It's huge. It's big. I've seen it. So it's time for you to find out. Was it him? Yes. He used to look a little different. A little, yes. He looked like a monster. What monster? It was just dark and you imagined it. So it's the master. Yes. His name is Leonid Konstantinovic. Why is he so overgrown? Is he always sitting in his room? You know? He used to be very different. Most of all, he loved life, knew how to be happy and loved his daughter Nastya. He loved fishing. We often went fishing together. He loved horses and traveling. And he also loved to fly his airplane. Does he have his own plane? It was... Two years ago, they decided to fly with Nestia and the plane crashed on landing. Leonid Konstantinovic survived. 
и заходит на посадку. Самолет разбился. Леонид Константинович, что выжил? Под Настя. She died. She was 12 years old. During the accident, he injured his spine. Doctors did everything they could. They even said that after rehabilitation, he would be able to walk, but he locked himself in his room and started drinking. He lost all interest in life. Is this woman Nastya's mother? Larissa Vladimirovna. MMM. No, that's his second wife. They got married three years before the accident, and then when he got locked up, she stopped living here. But she comes here regularly and brings him medicine. And this man who hired me for a job. Radionov Sergei Alexandrovich is the manager of his corporation. Once Leonid Konstantinov granted himself. But now, now, so there are no monsters here. Got it. Pavel Ivanovich, is that all for him? Yes, oh my God. I was told to bring it. Did they put all these machines in for his rehabilitation? Well, yet. Yeah. They gave him a whole rehabilitation program, said if he practiced regularly, he could walk normally. So after his daughter died, he didn't give a damn about his health. First of all, we need to think about investing part of the profits in construction and another part in precious securities, so we have our backs. I've already thought it over and discussed it with the board of directors, but the decision is up to you, Leonid Konstantinovic. Here I have described everything in detail. I need to understand if we agree. Did you know that Beethoven was deaf? Of course. So what about it? Well, when I listen to you, I want to be deaf.
Well, since there is no respect on your part, I will tell the board that we are starting to invest. Please. Leonid Konstantinovich used to spend the night at the stables. But after the accident, he never came in. Horses are homesick, aren't they? That's Napoleon. The owner's favorite pony. Pretty. Yes. And this is Zvezdoka, his daughter's horse. Nastya? Nastya. They used to ride together all the time. That's how it is. Are you looking at that stone again? Why? It only upsets you. I wish we'd sold it. Have you been taking pills? You haven't. Mouth. Good job. I'll get you some water. The doctor said not to mix medicine and alcohol. Okay, I'm going to go pack. Thank God for weekends, I get tired of this mansion sometimes. I'm taking the day off too. What are you going to do? I don't know, before, when I had a weekend, I used to go to my mom for the weekend. She was sick for a long time. And now that she's gone and the house is sold to pay for her treatment, I suddenly don't have to go anywhere. I'll probably make a day. Mama Mia, with whom? By myself, I want to walk around the city, go to the cinema, eat a huge ice cream cone and ride the merry-go-round. Oh my god, it's so much fun. Bellissimo, you enjoy life like a real Italian, and we enjoy life better than anyone else. Oh mamma mia. Vera, for God's sake, I'm sorry. The fact is that this weekend Leonid Konstantinovich was to stay with the fired maid. He cannot be left alone. Vera, don't be sad. 
See you tomorrow. Cheers. Can't you sleep again? Well, well, calm down. Don't yet. Damn it. It's supposed to be your day off. That's why you found out when it was my day off. Thank God the wound was not deep. But I still think you should not have been hospitalized. Pavel Ivanovich. 
You know very well my attitude to doctors and even more so to trips anywhere. Let's not bring up this topic again. What about this robber? He was arrested. All the valuables were returned. Fine. Now I want to get some sleep. I wanted to thank you. In your condition, it was suicidal to get into a fight with a criminal. And you're not really as callous as you want to seem. Excuse me. Pavel Ivanovich told me about you and what happened two years ago. I think it is wrong to hide in a den from the world. Vera, I think you should. Pavel Ivanovich let her speak. Liana Konstantinovic, you are behaving this way because you feel guilty about what happened, but believe me, there is nothing more foolish than to blame yourself for something that you cannot change in any way. Did you say everything? I want to help you. Leave me alone, Pavel Ivanovich. I'm very sleepy. Excuse me. Vera, do you always behave like this? How? You're minding not your own business. Can't you see that he needs help? Vera, know your place. You shouldn't talk to him like that. It's not that I have to. I have to. And you have to, but instead you pretend that nothing is going on. Vera, but he lost his daughter. Two years ago. But Nastia was the meaning of his life. We all love someone and lose someone. That's life. And you indulge him in his condition. Why don't you want to help him? You think we haven't tried? It means we didn't try very hard. What a beautiful sunshine. Vera, what are you doing? My job. What kind of job, Vera? Your job is to clean everywhere except my room. From this day forward, your room too. Who told you that? You want a dust. You are so used to live in it that you do not even notice it. But as soon as I finish cleaning, you immediately change your mind. Fresh air is what you need most right now. What I need most right now is for you to leave me alone, Vera. Okay, well, let's start with the cabinets. What closet? Vera, Vera, don't touch the closet. Don't touch the closet. I told you, Vera. Vera! Oh, did you all drink that? If you're there, please give me that bottle over there. Which one? That one, yes. I think I know where is she, Plas. Are you crazy? What, Vera? Stop it. You won't drink anymore. I told you, Vera, Vera, no, I shouldn't have left you in the freezer. It's not too late to put me there again, if you catch up with me. Pavel Ivanovich, Vera, where are you going? Come back here, Pavel Ivanovich. What's all the shouting about? Vera is on the second floor at the master's cleaning. He cleans up. My God, he's going to fly off the job, poor girl. The initiative is punishable.
wait, did she throw out the garbage? Yeah. Giovanni, I need to talk to you. Well, actually, Giovanni is cooking Sayer Leonid's delicious steak right now, but for Vera, Giovanni is always ready. Giovanni, honey, Senya. You cook Leonid Konstantinovic nothing but meat, meat, meat. Yes, but he a man. Where are the famous Italian salads? Where are the vegetables and herbs? Vera, vegetables, greens, that's for you, that's for little kids and a man should eat meat. No doubt. But Leonid Konstantinovic is like a child now. He needs healthy and fat-free food. Why don't you make him some kind of salad? <laughs> me? Salad? Ha, huh, for him. Well, who, me? Why shouldn't I make him a healthy breakfast? So what's on the menu today? Holy Virgin Mary. I don't understand what's going on. So spinach salad is healthy and invigorating for the day. Is there anything besides juice? Ah, bon appetit. What is this? Salad. Did Giovanni make this? No, I cooked it. I won't eat it. You have to. I don't owe anybody anything. Leonid Konstantinovic, you can thank me later. Thank you. I won't let some maid teach me about life. It's a good thing your daughter doesn't see what her father has become. Vera. Vera. <laughs> Don't cry. What was I thinking? I was just at the honors. And you made such a mess. And that he said he was going to fire me. No, he didn't. So your efforts are not in vain. Nastia, I have a present for you. Wow. What a beautiful horse. Where is she from? From Greece, it's an old one. When are you going to buy me a real horse? The real one, and where will we keep it? We'll build a stable and hire a groom to take care of them. After them, you said only one horse, didn't you? One horse for you, one for me, and we'll ride together Daddy, help me get my hair pinned. Come here, that's it. Your hair is like your mother's. Really? Tell me about her. Was she pretty? She was very beautiful.
Speaking Italian. What? What happened, Zenia? Speaking Italian. What scandal? What are you talking about now? Where? Where Vera is she in her room? In her room. Vera. Giovanni, what happened? She also asks what happened. What did you do to Essio or Leonid? Me? I brought him but chamel ribs for breakfast this morning. That's what he made me. And he demands you immediately. Why? Why? That's a good question. Why, Mamma Mia? Uh. Oh my God. Farah, we have to go. Good morning, Farah. Good morning. Vera, I wanted to apologize to you for yesterday. No, I shouldn't have spoken to you like that, especially not about your daughter. No, everything you said is true. I was angry with myself, not with you, and indeed, if Nastia saw what I have become, she would not be happy. So you let me help you. Let's take our time and start with breakfast. And your spinach salad and carrot juice would be very nice. Clayton, may I try it? Try it. Let's go. Is it okay? It's really great. What are you guys up to? How? We're trying to lure Leonid out of his den. Well, there it is. Well, you said that he used to love his horses very much, so I thought that at least they would make him go out into the fresh air. A dangerous venture. But an interesting one. Shall we go? Let's go.
Pay attention to the increase in profits over the past three months. So what do you say, Leonid Konstantinovic? Shall we expand? Leonid Konstantinovic. Hi. Hi, Larissa. We need to talk. I want you. What are you doing? Not here. What are you doing? Should be quiet. But how, Lenya is here. Be quiet. Stop it. Wait, let's go away for two weeks and you can do whatever you want, Suriza. Notice I didn't say that. Come on. Suriza. Come on, oh you. Vera, what's going on? You look worried. No. It's just all kinds of thoughts and... What kind of thoughts? Vera... If you mean that Rodionov is sleeping with my wife, then I know about it. And that doesn't bother you. Larissa and I haven't had anything for a long time. I know that she's with me because of the money. Why don't you get a divorce then? Interesting question. After what happened to me, Everything no longer makes sense to me, especially such formalities as divorce. There's nothing worse in life than indifference. Really? Yeah. I'm struggling with it. I wonder how. I either tolerate you or I don't notice you. <laughs> Hello. You remember me? Remember me? Get well. Very, very. There's this well, you've got to see this. Come with me. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Put something on. It's starting to snow. Okay, okay, careful. What were you thinking? You can't go riding in your condition. I made it, you saw, I made it. Come on. 
I made it. You pull it out, and he... Good job. You're not allowed to ride. I'm allowed to ride. Really? Yes. Well, then you have to start doing the physical exercises that the doctors prescribed for you. I work in a rehabilitation center. I can help you. Vera, I don't need any exercise, doctors. You've been cooped up for two years. Your muscles are atrophied. Soon you won't be able to ride your horse. You won't be able to ride in a wheelchair. In the wheelchair, I will go away. Very funny. What? How much? Twenty-five more. I can't do any more. What do you mean I can't? Continue. That's it. Training is over for today. The week. What? What did you say? Nothing. Watch your language. Juice for SEO or Leonidas. Giovanni, please take me somewhere else. I don't want to mess with. Traitor, okay. Tell me what's next in this book of torture. Swimming. What? No swimming, Vera, no, no, and no. Are you out of your mind? I didn't do it on purpose. Not on purpose. Well, now that you're here, why don't you take a couple of laps around the pool? And if I drown? Well, you don't care about yourself. Three weeks later, Let's go. <coughs> what happened? My leg, you know. It seems to me that after these exercises it only gets worse and more painful. Pain is a normal reaction to exercise. Soon your muscles and joints will get stronger and you will feel better. Do you really believe that? Of course not. I just like to make fun of you. Look, so I don't understand. Is he doing this every day now? For three weeks every day, even stopped demanding alcohol for himself on the second floor. This morning, he was feeding the horses himself. Mamma mia! That's what I say. I saw Platon riding you on my Napoleon. What do you think? I'll tell you, you could do with some training. 
To be honest, it was the first time I'd ever been on a saddle, and it was a lot scarier than I thought it would be. Of course, that was my Napoleon, you would have been better suited to Zvezdaka. This is your daughter's horse. Yes, that's my daughter's horse. She likes you. Help her out. Svestaka. Oh, phew. It worked. You are a capable student. What's next? And then stop being nervous. I am calm. You're a little tense. Well, I'm just afraid. What if she runs or throws me off? Well, a horse is an animal. Animals always sense when they are afraid. So if you stop being afraid and sit confidently in the saddle, he'll never throw you off. How do I show her that I want to go forward? And you lightly press her sides with your heel. Ah, I did it. I think that's enough for today. Are you sure? Surprise. Thank you. Try walking without a cane. Where is she? Here. Vera, give me the cane. Take it. Vera, it's your game again. Give me the cane. Take it. I don't need it. Vera. No. Well. Vera, what the? Don't swear. Vera, give me the cane. Take it if you can. Take it, if you still think you need it. Today we have pasta and my signature sauce. What kind of sauce? Try it and guess what it is. Tim sauce? Shh, I don't play your games. Whoever guesses will get Giovanni's signature dessert, almond cake. Well, I give up right away because I'm terribly hungry. I'll guess. Boring people are not interesting with you. It's interesting with you, please guess. Well, that's easy. There are tomatoes. Simple. Mamma mia, of course simple. Even Plato can guess it. You don't know anything about Italian cuisine at all. Why is that? Look how I know. I see. <laughs> I've decided to have dinner with you. Is there a chair for me? You know, momento, Signor Leonid, I just can't believe my eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your meal.
It's very tasty sauce. Gracias, Senor Leonid. Giovanni offered to guess what it was made of. Did you guess? No, you try. If you guess, you get dessert. Well, it's very simple. There are tomatoes, onions, garlic, some capers, red wine, parmesan, and something very flavor. What is this berry flavor? What is this berry flavor? Time. Time. You guessed it again. How did you do it? Senor Leonid always guesses what I'm going to cook, always, just like he did seven years ago in Naples. Oh, I remember, I remember. What do you mean? Seven years ago, I was in Naples on business and decided to eat at a restaurant where Giovanni worked. It was a beautiful restaurant, beautiful. I liked it so much that I offered Giovanni a job. Yeah, that's what he said, if you work for me, you'll be my cook. He didn't even ask me anything. I made an offer that was impossible to refuse, but this rascal had the nerve not to accept my offer. Mamma mia, why the rascal, why the rejection? Giovanni just loved his town, loved his restaurant, loved his job, didn't want to go anywhere. That's all. I was very persistent. Yes, yes, S.E.O.R. Leonid came to the restaurant every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and every day he talked me into it. To get him off my back I offered him a bet. Giovanni makes any dish, and I guess what it's made of. Yeah, yeah, if he guesses, I pack my bags and we all leave. And? So, it was an excellent lasagna, but with a very unusual recipe. It was my aunt's recipe. <coughs> Senor Leonid guessed all the ingredients except one. <laughs> Time. And I have the feeling that we are not here right now, but somewhere else. Yes, for example. For example, in a castle in Scotland, I envy you. You've been halfway around the world. What was the last place you were in? Argentina. It's a beautiful country. I brought a beautiful wine. With such a flavor. I dream of going to Buenos Aires and tasting this wine. It's a beautiful dream, and as for wine, it's easy to arrange, but not here and now. Every wine has its time and place. Really? Imagine that. Here's the wine we're drinking now. It's perfect for such evenings by the fireplace. And the one I told you about has its own place for it. Which one? Tomorrow you'll find out. It will be my surprise. I won't sleep until tomorrow. You will. Come on, let's go. There's a step here. Be careful. There's a second one coming. Come on, come on, easy, easy. I can see you. Stop. Oh my God, it's beautiful. My surprise. Have a seat. Mm. 
Let's have a drink. Let's drink to one of the best days of my life. It's a tasty wine. Yes. My wife was very fond of him, too. Your wife, Larissa Vladimirovna? No, my first wife. Who gave birth to me, Nastenka. She died in childbirth. I'm so sorry. I raised Nastya on my own. The time we were together was the best time of my life. I'm so sorry about what happened. We flew with Nastya on my plane. I was at the helm. When landing something went wrong, the plane completely stopped listening to me. I woke up already in the hospital and there I was told that Nastya was gone. I didn't want to live for two years. I do now. Thanks to you. Thank you. I was just in the mansion. Do you know what Lenya does? What? He walks around with his maid and sings her wine. Seriously? Unexpectedly. I didn't think his condition would improve that much. Well, that's all right. The main thing is that everything goes according to plan. What do you mean? What plan? I'm telling you Lenya's up. Whose plan was it to have Lenya walk around the mansion with his mate and sing her wine? Ours, Laris. Our plan was to keep Lenya out of the company business. He doesn't get involved. I run everything. I'm in charge. I'm the head of the company. And you're just jealous. You're jealous, Larissa. You're the jealous type. But I know how to make you feel better. Vera, the weekend's here. Except that I don't want to go anywhere at all. Why is that? Oh. Don't worry, we'll keep an eye on him. You go get some rest, and you deserve it. Good evening. Don't flatter yourself about my husband. Don't play dumb. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I know what's on your mind. You know your place, servant. What are you doing? Reading. You know exactly what I'm asking. Did you have a new hobby, Lenya? Do you mean Hemingway?
are you interested in the servants now? Larissa, what do you care? Yeah. You'd better think about what she cares about you. Why should the poor maid be hounding you? Why? And why does she do it? Len, out of pity? You're an invalid. And there's nothing but pity for you. Let me go. You're hurting me. Is that all you said? Oh my god, what's going on here? Clayton, what happened? The hell he knows. The gate is on fire. And the horses, where are the horses? Napoleon and Zvezdoka are there. Give me that cloak. The back door is locked. Where are you going? Wait, where? That's crazy. You're going to fucking burn. What to do, Pavel Ivanovich? I'm going. Where? Where the hell are you going? Lenica! Come here. I'll get you out of here. Just be patient. I'll take you out, let's go, let's go, come on, come on. Clayton, help. Clayton, come on, drag, drag. Ivanovich. 
We should give him some water, eh? He's been inhaling smoke, Lenya. Alive? I think he's alive. I got it, bye. You want the news? Well... Last night a stable burned down, not far from here. Really? Maybe nobody died, but it burned to the ground. It happens. Well, thank God. Leonid Konstantinovich. Some water. Thank you. How are you? Fine. How are the horses? All in one piece. It's okay. Before the roof collapsed, they managed to get out through the back door you open. So everybody's okay. Except for Zvezdaka. What's wrong with Zvezdaka? She ran away, got scared and ran away. We haven't been able to find her yet. We have to find her. You'd better lie down. Anyway, Platon, you go that way, and I'll go through the woods to the lake. By this time, God knows where Zvezdaka could have gone. Let's hurry up. How could this happen? It's not clear, arson, or it caught fire by itself. Are all the horses all right? They are, but Zvezdaka ran away. Are you going to look for her? Right. The two of us? We'll split up. Well, I won't let you alone. Wait, I'll change. It may snow in the woods, dress warmer. At her average galloping speed of about 15 to 16 kilometers per hour, she could have traveled about 50 kilometers. That means we have to go the same distance. It's the same distance. Yes. What have you got there? We got nothing so far either. MM hum. Bye. No. Bye. Zvezdaka. The main thing is not to stop. Come on, dear. Nobody. There. Zvezda can't there. Come on, come on. Oh, shit. So that's the end of the search for today. Why? Because it's getting dark. Vera, there's a river. I'm sure she's somewhere nearby. Vera, if she were anywhere near us, we would have found her long ago. Did you hear that? It's her. Vera, 
We've been looking for her for so long that we can hear her roaring. We mustn't stop looking. We mustn't. Vera, Vera. Vera, are you hurt badly? Are you all right? My leg. Where? Which one? The left one. We'll think of something. There's no fracture. It's just a sprain. I think in a couple of days you'll be as good as new. But Vera. On one condition. You have to take your medication. No, thank you. Even in this situation you find an opportunity to drink. Faith, it's to keep you warm. Drink, Vera, drink, Vera. Yuck. Don't get upset. We'll find this Vestaka. We will. Yes, I see you never get discouraged. <laughs> What's the point? <laughs> the point is... You probably just don't know what the death of a loved one is like. I don't have much of Nastya left. I gave her a Zvezdaka for her 8th birthday. Nastya grew up with her. Then she learned to sit in the saddle on it. Then we rode with her a lot. Nastya on Zvezdoka. Me on Napoleon. We rode all around here. And there are only memories of Nastia. But they become less and less every day. Zvezdaka is one of my brightest memories of Nastia. You had a beautiful daughter? Zvezdaka. Zvezdaka. Zvezdaka, come here, come here. My good one, Platon. Zvezdaka. Receive your guests. Zvezdaka, my girl. Hello, where did you find her? Come on, beautiful. Let's go home. Let's go home. How is your leg, Vera? It's better, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Larissa. How many times have I told you not to smoke here? There's nothing to breathe. Aren't you forgetting something? You forgot your jacket at the maids.
You're all out for a walk. They were looking for horses. At night the stable burned down. We could hardly find the Zvezdaka. I see you're not just interested in horses anymore. Be clearer. <laughs> and you know very well what I'm talking about. Or rather who I'm talking about. Don't you dare smoke in my house. In your house. In your house. <laughs> Did you do this? You set fire to the stables. What's all this nonsense? Don't play dumb with me. Do you think I don't understand anything? What was I supposed to do? Watch Lenya and that beggar girl ride horses every day. Why set fire to the stables? What for? It's too much. Too much for who? At least I'm doing something. And you don't seem to care at all. Do you realize that this Vera brought him back to life? He stopped taking pills, in general. I think you're making it worse. Are you stupid at all? While he was taking tranquilizers, we could really control him. And now he's not taking them. What are you so worried about? Don't worry about it. So he's got a crush on this girl. So what? So what? Let him have an entire harem as long as he doesn't get in our way. Come on, Giovanni. Pasha, I'm a cook. Take it, cook, talk less. Oh, that's why we have to do it. Because the workers are coming tomorrow and the car has to be unloaded today. God didn't create these hands to carry logs. If my aunt could see what I'm doing, Giovanni is the best cook in Naples. He hauls logs. Do you know how many escallops these hands have cooked? And Asabuka? And the chicken sciatory? They even made fugu fish so that just no one died. But they never carried logs. Leonid Konstantinovic. It's okay, less words, more action. Sometimes I can be such a fool. So everything is unloaded. Tomorrow the workers will come and start rebuilding. Fine, and I'll help them. You? Yes, Pavel Ivanovich. Lenya. It's all right, Pavel Ivanovich. I can't sit in four walls anymore. I feel I've got strength. It's all right, it's all right. And Pavel Ivanovich, please get my business suit ready. So gentlemen, from now on we will start investing profits in securities and I have also decided from now on to build shopping malls. Hello gentlemen, I can see by your faces that you are all very happy to see me. We haven't seen each other for two years. I am happy to tell you that 
that I really miss my work. My health is fine and I will be personally involved in the company's business. Anyway, you were right, Leonid lost his head because of that girl. And today he showed up at the director's meeting. Really? Well, Syriza, it's getting hot. So you have to get rid of the girl. I'm going to fire her. You think Leonid will let you do that, don't you? I don't think so. Do you realize that now our whole plan is in jeopardy? Calm down, everything will be fine. Everything will be all right. She'll quit on her own. Svestaka, please forgive me. I have no carrot. Hi. After all, I knew I'd be writing someday. Hi. Quietly. Let's go. I'll show you something. What? You'll find out. I'll go. What is this? It's a show jumping ground. Nastia spent all her free time in the saddle. She was into show jumping. I used to bring her here. And she jumped over it? Through it, yes. She did it very professionally. Do you want me to teach you something? No, I'm afraid. You don't have to be afraid of that. You don't have to start with jumping over the barrier. You can start with allure. With the allure? Allure is the way a horse moves. Gallop, trot, step, see. It's very beautiful. And now I'll show you what Napoleon can do. What are you going to do? Leonid Konstantinovic. Leonid Konstantinovic. I used to take this height. It's very high. You used to be in a different form. And I'll take it now. Leonid Konstantinovic, don't do that. It's dangerous. Leonid Konstantinovic. Leonid Konstantinovic. Leonid Konstantinovic. Let me help you. Don't, it's all right. Give me your hand. I don't need it. I don't need to be reminded that I'm an invalid. I don't think I gave you any reason to think that. Come here. Why did you throw me off? Why did you what? Well, it's nothing. It's not a big bruise. You don't have to use your leg, and you'll be fine. Pavel Ivanovich, how is Vera? Well, she's doing fine as always. That's not what I mean. I was supposed to get dinner. Didn't they bring you dinner? No, they brought it. It's just that Sonia did it. So? Well, that's usually what Vera has been doing lately. She and I just didn't see eye to eye today. Well, I see her walking around sad all by herself. But I think that two intelligent people can always reconcile if one of them admits his mistake.
Vera, I understand that you don't want to see me now. You understand correctly. Vera, wait a minute, I wanted to apologize. I shouldn't have acted like that. Let me invite you to dinner, which I want to prepare with my own hands, especially for you. Will you accept my invitation? The mackerel? As you asked, the capers are in the fridge, the balsamic vinegar is right behind you on the shelf. Thank you, I'll take care of it. Excuse me, but you only have fish. I want to make a Mediterranean-style dinner. Yes? Yes, Vera said she dreams of traveling Mediterranean cuisine. That's what she wants. She'll love it. Look. For appetizers, I'll make crab and mackerel bruschettas. Okay. And the main course will be salmon tartar. Do you want to feed a girl mackerel? Mm -hmm. Yeah. With salmon tartar? Yes. You probably don't want to see her anymore, right? Why not? Because she will run away from you after such a dinner. If you want to impress, you have to make a vegetable salad first with rucola olives and cherry tomatoes. Or what's better than a classic Caesar, then you have to serve something delicate, some Tuscan chicken liver patty. And if you want your dinner to be a success, you have to serve veal, not mackerel. Zenia, is it all with time? With time, at least with time. Zenia, I want to cook dinner myself. You know, I'm sorry, but you cook with difficulty. It smells like fish. Bruschetta, bruschetta cooked in a toaster is barbaric. You have to put it in the oven, a little olive oil, then a little salt, pepper. Are you going to put the fish in a blender? Of course I want to make salmon tartar. In order to make tartar, the salmon has to be chopped and bones removed. That's why I want to put it in a blender to grind the bones. Then you get a cutlet, not a tartar, Mamma Mia. Who told you to cook? Let Giovanni do it. Then you'll have a delicious dinner. Zenia, please. I want to cook dinner myself, please. My God, Vera just doesn't know what's waiting for her. Zenia. What are you doing here? You're a good maid, Vera. You're young, beautiful, smart, talented. For sure you have things to do in life. Surely you must have a dream. I need to talk to you about how Leonid Konstantinovic would be better off if you were gone. That's not true. It will be better for you and Larissa Vladimirovna if I'm not here. Well, that's not the point. There's enough money here to make any dream come true. You shouldn't be here today, Vera.
Are you leaving? Sorry, my hair took a little longer than I planned. Vera, you are beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. Take a seat. I've made Mediterranean style. Excuse me with my hands. Mackerel and crab bruschetta. Tartar. Salmon tartar. So the candles are back. Okay, well, bon appetit. Is something bothering you? I don't want to talk about sad things this evening. Let's have dinner. It smells really good. It's delicious. I've never eaten anything like it. Well, as they say, the best gift is one made by hand or a book, no book. I just cooked the first time. I probably should not have kept so much in the toaster. Probably shouldn't have. Let's try the tartar. Shall we? Okay, it must have been an accident. I don't know. Absolutely. Vera, Will you please stop? Don't get upset. You'll do better next time. It's the first time you've cooked. Vera, stop it. What are you doing? You shouldn't eat that at all. Do you eat pizza? Yes. And here I am standing in the middle of Barcelona and I understand that I did not throw into the fountain an ordinary coin, but from the era of Charles V. The one which you bought from an antique dealer for 25,000? Yes, that's the one, and I say to myself that I won't go anywhere without that coin, and I get into the fountain, I stand in the middle of the fountain, and I start. Really? I'm telling you seriously. There are hundreds of Spanish, Italian, American, Russian, Chinese coins, anything but not mine. Well, someone saw, you can't take the coins out of there. The police came. You explained everything to them, didn't you? I tried, but the fact is that in Spanish I know two to three phrases and they are not very decent. So I had to spend the night at the police station. So if you're ever in Barcelona, know that in the fountain in Catalonia, there is a 25,000 euro island from the era of Charles V. How awful. Vera, I wanted to ask you a question. You're young, beautiful, intelligent. Why are you working as a maid? Didn't you have any other job? I didn't have time to look for another job. I grew up in a small town without my father and my mother was always sick. I needed money for treatment. So right after school I went to work, I got a job at a rehabilitation center, but I still didn't have enough money. So you came here to earn more money? 
Yes. At first I got a job at a hotel as a dishwasher and worked my way up to corridor attendant. Then a rich family offered me a job as a housekeeper with a good salary. Well, you started earning more money accordingly. Yes. Did your mother get better? I had enough money for treatment, but recently my mother left. I'm sorry, I didn't know. That's okay. It's life and it goes on. So you don't have to be a maid anymore. <laughs> well, yes, that's right. Now I can do whatever I want. Why did you come to work for me? Everything I earned went to my mother for medical treatment. And after her death, I have no savings. And everything I earn now I save. On what, if it's not a secret? On a trip around the world. Why does everybody react like that when I talk about it? It's just a little unexpected. I've only seen this world in movies. I want to see it with my own eyes. It's so big, so interesting. Yes, it's so big and interesting. You're a wonderful girl. Vera. What? You know what I want to show you something. What? Come. I'll show you an amazing thing. Come on in. It's a family heirloom. My father brought it back from Burma. Did he really have to bring it all the way from Burma? He didn't go for the box. He went for its contents. Open it. Open it. Wow, how big it is. It's a very rare ruby. They call it angel's blood. It's very beautiful. It must be worth a lot. It's worth a lot, but that's not what it's worth to me. That you got it from your father? My father gave it to Nastya when she was born. Nastya loved it very much. My father is long gone. So is Nastya. It's the only thing I have left of my family. May I? Of course. It's an amazing stone. You're amazing, Vera. What are you doing here? I came to see my husband. And you've already stooped to sleeping with the servants. I'm not sleeping with her. You haven't had time yet. Lenya, maybe I should go away and not disturb you. You know what, Larissa? Stop acting like a caring wife. I don't need to pretend. I am your wife. On paper, Larissa, you and I both know it. You would have divorced me if not for the prenuptial agreement. Really? Seriously. 
Then why do you think I come here? Huh, I bring you pills, take care of your health. If I'm only a wife on paper, huh, I might not have come here at all in these two years, but I do. Out of a sense of vain. Out of a sense of vain. Out of a sense of vain, you're sleeping with Radyanov. I've known about it for a long time. And you're a sly one, aren't you? You know everything and you don't show it. Then why don't you divorce me? I will, Larissa, don't worry. I spent my life on you, Lenya, and you won't get rid of me that easily, understand? That bitch didn't take the money, caught up me, and just threw them in the face. It looks like this babe really fell in love with Leonid. And what should we do with her now? I always know what to do with you. Larissa. Carefully. Bring it all in. I don't want anything left over. Okay. Thank you, Vera. You're welcome. Time. The secret. Oh. I'm tired. Do you want tea, Pavel Ivanovich? With time. Thank you. It's good. I worked hard and it makes me feel better, honestly. You know. As your father and I were told by a comrade. It's easy work when you have helpers. Well, anyway. Take care of yourself before you fully recover. Pavel Ivanovich, everything is in order. There's a man who watches it. Zenya, Pasha, are you all set? Two minutes and everything will be ready. You know, don't go to the boss yet. He's furious. What is it? I don't know. He searched the whole house. It seems that something valuable is missing. He must have lost it. There are no thieves in the house. Okay, I'll be right there. Okay. Ruben is missing. Maybe rolled under the table. Under the table, it's nowhere. I've searched everywhere. Are you sure? I never kept the ruby in a prominent place. It was always in the table. In the table? I am surprised that you kept such an expensive thing in the table. Yes, nobody knew about it. So it turns out that someone knew. We have to call the police. No, we don't have to. I mean we will find it ourselves. How? Let's reason logically. Let's. No one knew about the stone in the table, did they? It's a secret. Now remember, maybe you told someone in casual conversation. Yes, maybe you even showed it to them, the expensive stone could have been clutched by anyone, and it is not the first time our servants steal it. By the way, here's what I thought, it could have been Pavel. I showed the angel's blood to Vera. 
Vera, this girl who hasn't even worked for two months, Leonid Konstantinovic. No, Vera couldn't. You don't know anything about her, except what she told you about herself. She smiled at you and you trust her. Vera couldn't do this. And where is she now, huh? Where is she now? Where is she now? Vera, please wait. Are you going somewhere? Yes, it's my day off. After which you probably weren't going to come back. What? Did you clean Leonid Konstantinovic's room today? Of course. And you know it very well. It's my job. Like the fact that he was showing you the stone. Yes. It was stolen, Vera, do you know about that? No. I think you do, what do you have in your purse? And what do you think that I took it? Vera? Please show me the purse. Are you serious right now? That's what I had to prove. I didn't take it. Get out of my house. Leonid Konstantinovic, I didn't take it. I swear, Leonid Konstantinovic, it was planted on me. Your belongings and the settlement are about to be taken out. You bastard. You'd better thank us for not calling the police. You always trusted pretty girls, and they always took advantage of you. Did you think she loved you? Did you think she needed you? Nobody needs you without your money except me. Why don't you stop listening to me? Don't drink your medicine. Come on. We schedule for 6 o'clock p.m. Not 5 o'clock p.m., 6 o'clock p.m. I say, are you deaf? Hello? Lady, I'm interested in the procedure. I forgot what it's called. There are also sticks on the face. Yes, it could be. Find out what it is. Yes, I'm waiting. Aha. Uh -huh. Mom, look how I can do it. Well, don't spoil it. Have breakfast. <laughs> Yeah, a ho is that instant. I asked you to make me real coffee. Listen, it's not my fault. Ask the housekeeper why she's never on time. I cooked all my own breakfast. You think it's easy for me? Where the hell is she? I have no idea. Me too. I wish you hadn't cooked at all. It's impossible to eat it. Eat your breakfast. You'll be late for school. Why don't we order a pizza? Sure, pizza. P 
Pizza, pizza, pizza. No pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Get everything and bring it to the warehouse. Edic, tell them something. Quiet. No pizza. The nutritionist said no pizza. Good morning. Finally. Good morning, Vera. Do you actually look at your watch? You asked me to buy groceries yesterday morning, didn't you? So you should have bought them earlier. The stores weren't open before. Look, don't argue with me. There's a whole mountain of unwashed dishes. Hello, move the meeting to the afternoon. I'll be at the back. Hello. Thank you. Yes, after the massage. Vera, tie this stupid tie for me. What are you doing? Get over here. Thanks, thanks. Here, little ones, I'll catch you. What are you doing, little? Make me some coffee. I'm not a little. You are little. Yes, I'm listening. Kids, kids, please stop doing that. If my skin slides off again, I'll twist your arms. I'm just kidding. Mom, mom, mom. What is it? What? She yelled at me. Vera, don't you ever yell at my children, do you understand? And anyway, she doesn't help us do our homework. And we pair so much. Who in this house will make me coffee? Vera. I told you to take everything to the warehouse, yes. So I put things in the washer so that everything would be washed when I come and clean the whole house. Okay. Give me the tablet, it's my turn to play. When the kids are back from school, help them do their homework, okay? Yes, do you understand? Dear, let's go to school, we'll be late. Listen, why are you yelling? Normal, I'm coming. Who's yelling? Here comes my beauty. Here comes my girl. Ah, here you go, here you go, my girl. Well, Napoleon, shall we eat? Oh, old chap, what's the matter with you? We must eat. No matter what happened to Leonid Konstantinovich, life goes on. We must eat. Hi, honey. I'm glad you're taking your medication consistently. You're doing great. Let's take one more pill, come on. Honey, I'll help you. Let's get you some water to I'll be there soon
me first. No, me first. No, me first. Get out of here, kid. I will not be friends with you. Don't you have enough room? I want to sit here. You don't want it. Give me the remote control. Try and take it back. Young lady, can you hear me or not? Yes, because of your procedure. Stop, I want to watch my movie. I feel that my face is already red. I want to watch my movie too. Wait, what's that? Give it back. Explain, have you been cleaning or lying on the couch all day? Give it back. Come here. Hello, yes, girl, yes. Come here. Yeah, so you're the administrator. What do you mean it's not your fault? Give it back. Come here, come here. Where did you run to? Leonid Konstantinovich. Lenya. It's Pavel. May I come in? You haven't been down here for a long time. Then it Konstantinovic. So I thought I'd come and see you. I was cleaning the leaves in the garden and suddenly it snowed. We've almost finished the stables. Clayton says the horses miss you very much, especially Napoleon. Can you imagine? He almost won't eat anything. You should come and have a look. Oh, you want me to show you how beautiful our place is? Here, here, look. Let me open the window so you can get some fresh, frosty air, Lenya. What are you doing? Me? I wanted Leonid Konstantinovic to get some fresh air. Get away from my husband. I know better what my husband needs. What are you getting up for? Go mind your own business. Whatever you say. If I see you here again, you can look for a new job. Your paycheck. There's not enough. No, you don't. Because you're on probation. What kind of probation? On such probation. So I haven't decided whether to keep you here or not. But we agreed on the full amount. 
We also agreed that you would clean well. I clean well. And what was that today? What's the mess? It's the kids. Or maybe it was someone who didn't clean their shoes or wash their hands after they came home from school. Are you going somewhere? My work day is over. No, it's not over until I say so. Wipe off the dust. I just did it today. Don't argue with me. My child is allergic to dust. Do you want him to have an asthma attack? Wipe the dust off and go. You're being a jerk. Let's go, let's go, beautiful. Step on, step on, step on, step on. Well done. Bright light can make your eyes hurt. And it's better to stay away from the window, or else you'll get wind. By the way, it's time to take your pills. And one more drink up. Are you serious? Did you increase the dose of medication? Does it bother you? Yes, it worries me. Increasing the dose of medication can have unfortunate consequences. The unfortunate consequences should have happened two years ago, but they didn't. And now I have to suffer with it. Is it my fault he survived? And whose fault is it? What did you promise me? And what did I get? Let's not talk about it. And you stop pretending that you're very concerned about Lenya's health. We both know very well that it would be better if he... You know what I mean. I get it. Hello, Verica, we need to talk. It's about Leonid Konstantinovich. Pavel Ivanovich, why are you calling me? I think Leonid Konstantinovich told me everything long ago, and you gave me everything perfectly clear. I know, but that's not what's important now. Believe me, I simply wouldn't call you. Please let me finish. Okay, talk. Just promise me that you will listen to me very carefully. I think that Larissa and Sergei were involved in that accident two years ago.
Pavel Ivanovich, what are you talking about? They came to the house today, I overheard their conversation by chance. They were saying I don't know how to say it. But I think that Leonid is in danger. What danger? I don't know, but they're obviously up to something. Larissa has locked him in his room. I can't do anything. She won't let anyone near him, like a cherbus. Well, why are you calling me? Go to the police. Vera, I wanted to. But Larissa and Sergei Alexandrovich, they are very influential people and without hard evidence nothing will work. And we don't have any. What do you mean we have? Yes, we do. Or rather you, because you're the only one who can help Leonid now. I understand that he did wrong by kicking you out. But Vera, his life is in your hands now. Well, how can I help him? Try to find out the details of the accident. And how Larissa and Sergei could have been involved. Verica, please. I beg you. Moraviev's accident, okay. Vera, do my homework for me. Vera, homework. Go away. What, mom, Vera has gone crazy. Vera has gone crazy. So, why are you sitting around like you're at home? The dishes are not normally washed. Come on, get up. Clean the dishes. Then do his homework. Then come to me and I'll tell you what you need to buy. There'll be guests tonight and you've got a lot to do. Do you hear me? Who am I talking to, Cuckoo? Do your own dishes, bring up your children and deal with guests. I've had enough. Why did you get up, sit down and do your homework? Clayton, why are you walking Svezdaka in front of Leonid's windows? You scared Laris of Vladimirovna, who is walking me? Yeah. And you think I don't see? You know, Clayton, I don't think Leonid will be riding anymore and we have no reason to keep this stable. I'm sorry, I don't really understand you, Larisa Vladimirovna. I'll put the horses up for sale, at the lowest price possible, so that they would be bought more quickly. Larisa Vladimirovna, don't do that. And if no one buys them, I'll give them to the meat processing plant for stuffing.
Are you out of your fucking mind? I'll fire you. I'm sorry. The crash of Leonid Moraviev's personal plane two years ago, of course I remember at the end of the investigation, which I headed. It was established that the cause was pilot error. But could it be that it was not the pilot's mistake? I don't understand. Well, what if the crash was planned? Planned by whom? Maybe there were some technical problems? No, that's absolutely impossible. The plane was thoroughly investigated. Technical problems are impossible. It is absolutely impossible. Any other questions? So the version of the crash caused the fall of the plane. That's right. We're looking into the technical faults of the plane right now. So you don't think it was a pilot error? Pilot's error is only one theory, but in addition to that, the examination of the plane revealed technical faults, which could also have caused the accident. And what kind of faults are you talking about? Wait for the official report and you will see everything there. Good afternoon. Can you tell me if I can talk to Elena, Miss Herna? I mean, she quit two years ago. I'm sorry. Do you have any of her contacts that I could get in touch with? Mm -hmm. I watched your interview about Leonid Moraviev's plane crash, and in it, you mentioned a technical malfunction. I was assigned to the group in charge of inspecting the aircraft after the crash. And I found a mechanical failure in the system responsible for the flap. I don't quite understand. Well, in case the flaps do not retract or do not retract at the same time, then the plane can have very powerful roll moments. So? Because the force of one lifting wing is much greater and the other much less, and the plane can become uncontrollable. And the plane could crash? Well, that was my version of what happened. But why nothing is said about it in the chief inspector's report? The cause of the accident is listed there as the pilot's error. But this is not a question for me. I reported to the chief inspector about the malfunction. I tried to bring my version and even appealed to higher management. But it only led to my dismissal. By saying that this is mechanical damage, are you implying that someone could have done this intentionally? Yes. Vera, I'm so glad you came. Pavel Ivanovich, you were right. The accident was planned, and the inspector who conducted the investigation was most likely bribed. I need to talk to Leonid Konstantinovic. All right, let's go, but I'm afraid you won't like what you see. Leonid Konstantinovic, Leonid Konstantinovic. Leonid Konstantinovic. Oh, my God, what's wrong with him? Now Lais of Vladimirovna runs everything. No one is allowed near him. She even brings him his own food. And she keeps feeding him these medicines. 
Leonid Konstantinovic, your accident was set up. Your daughter was killed and they wanted to kill you. You are in great danger now. Leonid Konstantinovic, can you hear me? Vera, I think Larissa is here. Let's get out of here quickly. Giovanni. Oh, Mamma Mia. What have you done, you armless creature? Forgive me, ma'am. It was an accident. I don't need your apologies. You broke everything. I'll take it out of my salary. Go on, get out of here. Yes, yes, of course, of course. Excuse me. Excuse me. I wish you were dead. What did you find out about the accident? Only that it is mechanical damage. There is no proof of that. But they don't know about planes. They couldn't have done it. Then who else could be involved? I don't know who, but I think I can guess where it could have happened. Everyone, go, go. Of course I remember, a very interesting man. He often flew on his plane with his daughter. Were you working the day they crashed? I've been working every day for 30 years. Do you remember that day? Did you see anything strange or unusual? Lady, the plane crashed, everything was strange and unusual. I mean before the accident. Maybe something suspicious was seen. Lady, are you making a fool of me? Excuse me. You're beating around the bush. Why don't you start talking straight? Okay. There's a good chance that this accident was staged. That's a different conversation. I asked for a reason too. On the eve of the flight, I saw a man standing next to Leonid Konstantinovich's plane. And I asked him who he was, what he was doing here, because the plane was already serviced and ready to take off. And? At that time, I was approached by, what's his name? Leonid Konstantinovich's assistant. Sergei Alexandrovich? Yes, yes, that's right. He told me we got a new mechanic and he's going to be servicing the plane. Well, okay. I didn't think much of it at the time. Why didn't you tell anyone that after the accident? What do you mean I didn't? I told it to the inspector who was investigating the case. And what did he say? He replied, thanks for the information. We will check and clarify like this. Excuse me, I have another question that concerns. Mr. Rodianov. You must remember me. Two years ago, you approached me about a delicate matter regarding the admission of your man to the airfield. Don't go on. I remember you. I have information for you. Only I want money for it. I warned you. You never again. You do not understand. There was a girl asking about the accident. And it seems she already knows what happened. And I have her picture for you. Of course, for a certain fee. There you go. I do not know how, but she guessed that the accident was staged. It's all your fault. Who, me? And who, me? I have long warned you to stop playing these cat and mouse games. 
Well, what do you suggest? That's what exactly are you suggesting? Just one shot. But it should look like suicide, just one shot and no one will understand anything. Some suicide, great. All right. After his daughter's death, he is in despair, in a deep depression, takes pills, but cannot cope. He decides to end his life. And you automatically become the sole heiress. And you stay in charge of the company. Yes. And everything finally becomes as it should be. You are genius. They are highly effective antidepressants, can be taken only under the strict supervision of a doctor. In the case of prolonged use, it affects the nervous system and the person becomes indifferent to the outside world, easily susceptible to suggestion and manipulation. They made him a puppet. Yes, Pavel. Vera, can you come over right away? What happened? Larissa told everyone to pack up and leave in the evening for the weekend, and she herself stays here with Sergei Alexandrovich. They are obviously up to something against Leonid Konstantinovich. All the staff left. And Pavel? What? Pavel is gone too? There's no one but us. How about a drink? Lenya? That's what you gave me the first day we met, remember? A drink. I wouldn't turn out the last drop of alcohol in your life if I were you. Although we have something better for you, now you'll stop torturing yourself. Stop torturing all of us. What? Everything must look like suicide. Is something wrong? No. It's okay. I just want to remember him so weak. You can't imagine how much I put up with your stupid orders. Serving you like a dog. And now it's different. I run the company. And you're zero. You're a zero. Thank God you came. I also pretended to leave. And what about they? They took Konstantinovic to his office. I had already called the police. By the time they arrive, it may be too late. Vera, careful, Vera. What is it? Sorry. Give me five minutes.
Good night, my love. Freeze. What are you doing? You are late. Leonid Konstantinovich, what's wrong with you? We have to call an ambulance. Stop right there, don't move. We should call an ambulance. Drop the phone, take the phone from him. Sergei Alexandrovich. Shoot him, shoot. Don't interfere, Larissa. Shoot her. Calm down, calm down. You are my only one. Don't do this, Sergei Alexandrovich. Stop. 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 Don't move, freeze. The lawlessness, that's what it's called. Give me the phone. Yeah, of course. I have the right to call. Of course you have. I want a lawyer. Get in the car. That's all because of you. Are any of your relatives going? Quietly, quietly. Everything will fine. Cardiac arrest. Doing CPR one, two, three, four. Live. Please live, do you hear? Plato, it's impossible to work that way. I'm telling you it's impossible. Are you kidding me? Didn't you bring it? They brought me what they ordered. I said, what's this? Is this a tomato? I can't make caprese out of it. You know what's in the way of a bad dancer? Do you know how I dance the tarantella? Gentlemen, this is our new mate. Hello. Hello, this is the groom. His name is Platon. And this is Giovanni the cook. Bongiorno se orita. Let's go, Capresa. Platon, you are an impossible man. Giovanni is Italian, we just call him Zinia. I showed you the hall, we have a kitchen. Let me show you the second floor. What a beautiful place. Well, you have to maintain this beauty. That will be your job, let's go, there we have a room. What about this room? We have a very important rule. Which? You can't enter this room. Why? Because no one lives there. Okay. Come, let me show you your room. Please, well. What do you like? Very. When can I meet the master of the mansion? Not the owner, but the owners. I don't know, I think not before six months. When will they be back? Back, where from?
It's beautiful. I'd like to go there too. Can I already open the eyes? Patience, dear. What a mystery. Here's my surprise. <gasps> Is this your wedding present you decided to give me an airplane? So, I decided to give you the whole world. In this plane we will fly around the world together. So where will we fly on it now? You're the commander, it's up to you. So we'll fly wherever I want. The whole world is at your feet. So, we flew to Spain. Why Spain? Well, firstly, it is warm there. Okay. Secondly, the food there is delicious. Okay. And thirdly, I really want to go to Barcelona. Why Barcelona? And there's a wonderful fountain in Plaza Catalunya, at the bottom of which lies the icon of the time of Charles the Great, which we will definitely find. So, let's not waste any time. 